On Saturday, the 4th of August, 2018, Olurugu Oscar Ibro, first son of late billionaire industrialist Chief Michael Ibro, pampered his beloved son to a lavish traditional marriage ceremony. Lagos stood still as the families of the Ibros and Akinolas played host to a galaxy of personalities who gathered to witness the traditional marriage ceremony between their children. The event, which was held at a harbor point, Victoria Island, Lagos, was a union of love among the Orobos of Delta states, the Ondos, and the people of Lagos. The bride, Ibiinka Murolayo Akinola, is the daughter of Mr. Akinka Akinola, a former Ondo state governorship aspirant, and Mrs. Ibiumi Akinola, while the groom is the son of the Sion of the Ibru dynasty, Olorogun Oscar Ibro and Chief Mrs. Wanda Ibro. The hall, which was filled to its capacity, witnessed the cream de la cream of the society, looking exquisitely dressed in the different designs of peach, the color of the day. Dignitaries who graced the event were the wife of the Vice President of Nigeria, Mrs. Dalakbo Shibajo, wife of the Senate President, Mrs. Toyin Saraki, former Governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke, Representatives of the Oshima Way of Undo Kingdom, or by Dr. Victor Kiladejo, the Oshile of Okeonegba, or by Didakwa Diwali Tejo Show and his Oluris, Nigerian poet and playwright, Professor John Pepeklak, Mrs. Ibukwa Woshika, Chairman, First Bank of Nigeria, Uluri Ladun Shijwade, Lady Maiden Alex Ibro, publisher of the Guardian Newspapers, Prince Bessio Latilo, the chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, among many other important personalities. The mistress of ceremony, commonly referred to as the Alaga Eduro, coordinated the proceedings. The event began with the ushering in of the bride's family, led by the parents of the bride, Mr. and Mrs. Akinka Akinola, as they danced joyfully, giving glory to God for the beautiful day in their lives. <laughs> The groom's family, led by the father of the groom, Olurugu Oscar Ibro, and his lovely wife, Chief Mrs. Wanda Ibro, were ushered in amidst pomp and glee. <laughs>
as tradition demands, the family of the groom went ahead to pay homage to the family of the bride, which signaled an acceptance and a warm welcome into their home. The opening hymn titled All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name was chorused by guests as led by the mistress of ceremony, after which the opening prayer was said. Thereafter, the parents of the groom, Mr. and Mrs. Oscar Ibro, made their intention known to the bride's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Akinika Akinola, and as expected, the bride's family received them with open arms and accepted their request, an act which paved the way for the reading of the proposal letter by the sister of the bride, Ibilola Akinola. This gesture was followed with an acceptance letter from the bride's family, which was presented to the groom's family. The most anticipated part of the ceremony then came, the grand entry of the bride and groom. The groom, Christopher Ebruba Ibro, made his entry in company of his friends, all looking dapper. It was heralded with a dance presentation of the Yorubos by the Delta State Cultural Troop. <laughs> Christopher Ebruba Ibro then proceeded to greet his in-laws to formally request for their daughter's hand in marriage and later to his parents for blessings. <laughs> This was followed immediately by the entry of the pretty bride, Ibiinka Murola Yuakinola, as she made her way into the hall, looking gorgeously dressed in her contemporary traditional ashoke. She was accompanied by an array of friends, all dressed in beautiful attires. Ibiinka Murola Yuakinola was so excited as she danced graciously to the music provided by popular saxophonist BJ Sachs. The bride was later told to meet first with her parents, her in-laws, and finally her groom. The bride, Ibeing Kamurola Yuakinola, was asked to pick her most treasured gift item from the items brought by her husband. And she picked the Bible, in which the ring was embedded a symbol of love between the couple. I place a sacrifice in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I give a feast for your Jews. You will use this to the glory of the name of the Lord. Amen. Christopher, when I say the name of the Father, you let me have the tea. When I say of the Son, you push it up away. When I say of the Holy Spirit, you sit it up completely. In the name of the Father, 
know the song? Amen. Did you know it? Shake it a bit. She was like, it's not people like it. It's not people like it. I know the whole history and the children of God said. In the presence of the family of the Hebrews and Akinolaz, he being Kamarolai Akinola was officially handed over to her husband, Christopher Ebruba Ibro, and they were declared husband and wife, which signaled the end of the engagement ceremony. The reception ceremony followed immediately at the same venue, the Harbour Point, Victoria Island, Lagos. As guests settled in, the vintage band provided very good music. <laughs> In attendance at the reception were former Governor of Ogun State, Chief Ulusha Gunshoba, the Chairman Fert Oil PLC, Mr. Femi Otedola, Chairman Donyi Group of Companies, Prince Samuel Ade Donyi and Wife, Senator Larry Tejusho, Chief Alex Duduyemi, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola, among many other important personalities. After a while, the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Ibro, were ushered into the hall in company of their friends as they danced joyfully to the tunes of BJ Sachs. <laughs> Look at the camera here. It was
was just a night of fun, as a huge percentage of the reception ceremony mainly featured whining and dining with the Hebrews from Delta State and the Akinolas from Undo and Lagos State, who have been joined by love between their children, Kristeva Ebruba Ibro and the being Kamurolayu Akinola. May God bless their union and may it last a lifetime. <laughs> From Biscon Communications, we wish Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Ebro a blissful married life.